This is a uh, Norwegian uh, wood uh, beetles tune and um, it's uh, quite good for developing some independence of the hands where the left hand is doing a different rhythm to the right hand. Here's the right hand tune, it's very simple and quite repetitive, get some nice on it. Um, Just do that slowly. When it does that twice, I suggest that in order to find it's quite a big leap back up to the starting note, so you get your hand in an octave shape so you can find the next starting note. Uh, so we've just done then find it with the little finger, and you can switch fingers after that if you like. for the next section. That's pretty much all there is to it, although I like to add the just to give us uh, the right chords to get back to the beginning. Just for those that uh, want to know the letter names in case they can't quite see what's going on, here it is with some letter names. Starts on an A, and then all the other notes move by step. B, A, G, F sharp. Then E, G, F sharp, D. Another leap, uh, step, then leap. C, G, B, A. C, G, B, A. And if you want to, when you repeat that, you can put the twiddles in. all moving by step. And then back to the original E G F sharp D C G B A. Um, then back up to the A again. Three more A's. A G G G F F F G F G and that repeats. So that should be the melody line, quite simply learned. Um, the left hand's uh, really uh, quite interesting. Um, the rhythm uh, is uh, different between the bars. So the first uh, rhythm, starting on a D chord, and I, uh, it's fourth finger, third finger, um, or what do you want to call that? Ring finger, middle finger. That's D bass and D chord. second bar is the alternative bass, which is the A, which is the dominant, and then two D chords. So, D bass chord, D bass chord, like that, then alternative bass, then two D chords. That's the umpa part that we're used to. So it's the first bar that's different, really. fingers not, it's only three fingers and they don't move anywhere. So you find the D, that's two up from C, So and you've got the three buttons are right next door to each other. After it plays that for a while, you just play bass notes, and those bass notes are going to be A, C, G, and then back to the D. So we've got second half or second bar of that pattern, you play the A as you would normally, go down to D, G, and then back up to the D. The only thing tricky about that is making sure that uh, you have the ring finger uh, for the D again. Um, it's tempting to go um, and end up on the wrong finger. So if you want to play all those bass notes from the A with the second finger, and then the, the C and the G and the D uh, as all as ring fingers. 
then you're not likely to go wrong. The other good thing about that is that it adds some separation and it's good not to let the bass get too joined up and be a bit muddy. So let's have a listen to that again. <laughs> slowly the second section the one that goes with is in D minor this time so we need to find D again we haven't gone anywhere from D uh, but instead of D major we have D minor so that's the next break back for the minor chords and that, that the pa pa of the umpa pa stays the same as D minor, but the bass walks down from D to C to B and to A. It's going to sound like this. To C, to B, to A, to G. When we get to the G, you take the fingers across and play the G chord. And that's exactly the same pattern as we did for the very opening D major chord. It's a G major chord, same rhythm, same fingers. Then we have to go back to the D and um, we have to make sure that we take our ring finger for the, uh, the D bass. That's so it's going to be the same sort of thing again, but here just to add a little more weight, instead of going up, 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 I leave out the first part, so it's going to be to E minor. So it's the same pattern as the D chord, but on the minor for E. And I'm going to stay with an E bass. And then A major. Just that first bar. So e minor. A major. And then just one bar back in. We're going to have a walking bass. So A, B, C sharp, D. So this is a short tune, there's loads going on. So let's have a look through that um, whole section again. We start off in D minor, so walking down, keeping the D on minor chords. D minor, same pattern, but lingering longer on the bass notes. And then E minor, same pattern to start with, same rhythmic pattern as the first one. But I don't go across to the B, I just stay on the E. Let's have a look at that E minor again. And then A major. Instead of doing umpa bar to finish with, I have a walking bass. A, B, C sharp, D. So here's the whole of the bass pattern. D minor. Uh, second section again with a change rhythm. Uh, I noticed in playing that I'm changing the fingering for the bass notes. So here it is with the more accurate fingering. D minor. Still the ring finger for C, still the ring finger for B, but I use the middle finger for A, because that means I can get to the G nice and easily. So we're going back to D minor, middle, sorry, ring finger, second finger, and then you have to feel for the E minor um, for the next bit. that instead of going I put an extra bass note in. So, so I hope that 
some help. It's a great tune um, and it goes round and round. Very simple uh, individual parts, uh, some complexity of rhythms and difficulty between the hands, um, but really worthwhile.